Hello, welcome back. It's been a little while since you've seen me make something. Um, we're gonna make cream puffs today. So this is a pot au choux pastry, P-A-T-A-C-H-O-U-X. Um, it is water, butter, flour, and eggs. So if you think about what that will taste like, there's not a whole lot of flavor involved in um, those things. So we will fill it. Um, I'm gonna show you two different ways to make it today. The fun part that I always like to share about this recipe is that um, you'll notice on your recipe it says in the kitchen with Joanne and then it says cream puffs. So um, this is something that I always remember my Grammy making growing up in Topeka. Um, it was always for Easter, that and a ton of sliced strawberries with sugar on top. Um, and then she'd make it other times of the year, but that's what I really remember it for. So um, they, have come and demonstrated a couple times for my classes, which is really fun for me, but they went through and tried. So remember in baking one, how we really got to see the differences and what the ingredients do? They went through and they tried all different ways to make this. So does it work better with a mixer or mixing it by hand or, you know, the mixer that you hold in your hand or a stand mixer? Does it work better with water or milk? Does it work better this way, this way? So they have, they even made a little booklet with all of the different ways that they tried it and what their results were. So we're gonna make what they decided was the best way to make it after all that trial and, trial and error, and this is what we always use now. So I'm gonna start with just um, a half a cup of butter, which is a stick of butter, and water, it's one cup of water. I'm just gonna bring this to a rolling boil, and then I am going to stir the flour in. You're gonna see the flour come together into a ball to where it sticks more together than it does. And then I'm gonna transfer it to the mixer. And in the mixer, I'm just gonna turn the mixer on and I'm gonna start adding. I've got four eggs. I'm gonna add one egg at a time until it's combined and then I'll add the next one. And then I am going to pan it and bake it. I'm gonna do it two different ways. I've got one pan here ready. I have, a, like I said, a silicone liner. You can see that I make cookies on it. Um, a silicone liner, so I have one pan ready there. You could use parchment or just nothing. Um, I think it's easier to clean if you put something on it but you don't want to spray it. You don't want it to be like a greasy layer because then they won't rise. So kind of like angel food cake, they need a little bit of something to like cling to. Um, so I have that and then I also have this. And one of the ways that she always made it was like a pan. So then you cut it into squares. So this is enough to do both of those. So you can do whatever size. I'm gonna use a scoop, but you can use spoons. You can do fewer big ones and about eight large ones. 20 of the smaller ones, or you can make a nine by 13 pan of it. Like I said, I'm gonna do a smaller one and some regulars. So let's get started.
Okay, so that's all mixed in. And now let's think about what we should expect from these. They're cream puffs, right? So we expect them to puff. So this dough doesn't really look like anything special in terms of like, that's gonna puff up a lot. But remember that we have that liquid content. We have a half a cup of butter and we have a whole cup of water. So butter has a lot of water content and then we melted it, of course. So liquid, when we heat it, is going to create steam. Steam will cause them to puff. So we will get these little pockets. There's those little filaments of dough inside. We will get these little pockets and we'll be able to cut the puffs in half and then pull out those, the little filaments of dough that are in there um, and then fill them. Well, like I said, the other way that she often made, made it or makes it is in a pan. So I'm gonna do it that way too. I'm just gonna take this dough and spread it. It's pretty sticky in the bottom of the pan. I need enough that there's like enough steam to puff up some, but this one we're not gonna cut. This is just gonna be, you know, a layer of dough basically. So then what she always did with this was um, put pudding layer on top. You know, you could use just a box of Jello pudding if you wanted to, or you could make homemade pudding. If you wanted to do kind of like our tarts, if you wanted to do like a layer of curd or something, you can, or like a layer maybe of strawberry jam would be really good because then you put maybe like a vanilla or even a cheesecake flavored pudding and then whipped topping and then you could put um, chocolate sauce or caramel sauce on top of it if you wanted to. So I made, let's see, I can make about nine small cream puffs plus that pan. Oh, I bet I can push for 10 here. I'll move that over a little bit. So there we go. They're mostly gonna puff up right? So um, we just need enough space for them to puff up. And I need to put them in an already preheated oven. So the reason that the already preheated oven is important is because we want to blast them with heat. Blasting them with heat is going to make them go poof before the gluten networks can set, right? Because we formed gluten because we did flour that has glutinine and gliatin, we added liquid, and we mixed it. So now we have the, the strength of the gluten holding it together in that cup of flour. So what we're gonna do is, um, like I said, hit it with heat, blast it before the gluten network's set. It'll blast and then the gluten networks will set because of the temperature and it's baking. And then you'll have cream puffs. So these are gonna go in my oven, 400 degrees. Um, small ones take maybe 25-ish minutes. What you're gonna notice when they're done is that um, they're not like wet looking on the top. As they're baking, if you're able to look at them like you have an oven light, because you don't wanna keep opening the oven, if you have an oven light and you can look at them, you'll notice that they kind of look like greasy on the top because that egg and butter is cooking, you know? So you'll know when they're done, the top won't look wet at all anymore. It'll look like that's kind of cooked off. So 400 degree oven, these are going in and we'll see them, like I said, in about 25.
Now, in my opinion, all the cream puffs are better after you assemble them and refrigerate them. Of course, you could pipe this if you wanted to, but there's really no need on this. My son loves them and is begging for another one. Okay, so that goes on there. I'm gonna refrigerate it like this so it kind of sets up together. And then I'm gonna sprinkle, or not sprinkle, I'm gonna drizzle chocolate sauce. And then sometimes I'll uh, dust it with powdered sugar and then before you serve it. It's also really good with uh, sliced strawberries.